Hey, Mark Sconti, former sanitation enforcement agent, sole plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. Just thinking today, I'm trying to trying to figure out. So again, I, I I mentioned in the other video, previous video, that at some point in my life, right, I was on the left. Right, what we what we used to call the left. You know, when Obama ran, right, as a progressive, right, he, 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 uh, you know, for whatever reason, led us to believe that, well, maybe he believed it himself, that the left had a chance to change things for the better in this country in the face of a market crash, right? There was an opportunity there coming out of the Bush era and the Bush doctrine of you know, instigating war in the name of defense, right? So, but now what's happened, right? Now what's happened? I mean, we're watching, we're watching a, a, a something that is, is really, I think, unprecedented in, you know, in American politics and in in news television um, broadcasting is that there is a state-run media, right? CNN, MSNBC, to some degree Fox as well. These are state-run, state-funded organizations, whether the money's coming through corporatization or direct government funding as in like the you know, Washington Post gets three hundred, or the six hundred million dollars or something from the CIA. Like these kind of staggering numbers, right? So, what what we have is again, what we have is this this uh, epic, you know, confusion in the media, manipulation, right? Look, as two thousand eighteen. Um, election rolls around. We know for certain that that the idea that Russia, a foreign, you know, friendly kind of nation or whatever, influenced and ransacked and overthrew our election is beyond ridiculous, right? That there's absolutely no evidence. All of the evidence points to foreign involvement directly through the Clinton Foundation, right? All the billions of dollars flowed into the Clinton Foundation, flowed into the hands of politicians across the country. Not much, and mostly into the Clinton's pocket, but that influence, how many, how many millions did the Saudis give? How many millions did the Chinese give? How many millions did, the, did the India and Pakistan and and, and, you know, maybe even Russians, you know, how many, who knows how much foreign money flowed into the, the, the government, into these elections, and had a direct influence. But to say that it was, to say that it was exclusively Trump being influenced by the, by one Facebook ad now, we're down to one Facebook ad, that's... That's that's what's happening, right? There's no collusion. There was no hack. We know that the DNC was not hacked. We know that the DNC cheated Bernie Sanders and someone inside, a brave soul, probably Seth Rich, right? Murdered, right? Probably somebody like that leaked it. It was a leak. They threw it on a hard drive and dumped it on WikiLeaks, right? So that everybody knew about it, right? But, but the media is, is still trying to pin, in the light of 17 children getting shot, right? What I'm trying to say is, when I watch the, when I watch the news, I wonder how people can, how, how thinking, logical, intelligent people actually go along with it and, and still believe the Russian 
that that the Russian somehow the Russians became a villain and that they're responsible for all of this and that the Democrats are 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 clean squeaky clean like they're not responsible for anything how do, how do we believe that how how do people is it just me is it is it just me you know I mean now it leads me to the it leads me to another point which is when we watch what we're calling leaders politicians go on uh, mainstream media it occurred to me because I watched a, a, a clip this morning with Jill Stein on uh, on um, MSNBC and they were <laughs> accusing her of taking a that that a Russian <laughs> took out a Facebook ad and promoted her and that's Russian collusion right first of all there's nothing illegal about it. it's free speech it's First Amendment anybody in this country who wants to buy an ad and support a support a political party or support anything is is technically allowed to do that right with the Clintons it was different if that's illegal what they're doing is they're they're taking money into a, a fake foundation and then they're they're laundering it into the political process selling influence direct direct correlation between taking foreign money and having it influence our elections. The Democrats are 100% guilty of that. The cover-up, the FBI covered it up, the CIA covered it up, right? Nothing to see here. No, no, no. Russia, right? So, but what I'm trying to say is when the politicians go on television, right? For example, Jill Stein, strong, strong voice, right? But is it strong enough? Right? You, what I what I'm trying to say is why are why do all these politicians clamor to get the attention of CNN and MSNBC and Fox when we know they're all full of shit when we know that they're all bought and paid for by the corporations that that directly suppress our free speech and our freedoms right why do you go on these networks just because they have Reach who are they reaching? They're reaching. They're reaching the ignorant masses, right? Why not? Why not have some balls and and stick with independent media or create your own messaging, right? Ah, you say, oh, Conti, it can't work. Can't work. You gotta, you gotta suck up to the, you gotta suck up to the money. You have to. There's no other way around it. I, I fundamentally disagree. I think guys like, you know, the, the, look, the platform is already set. You have people like H.A. Goodman. You have platforms like Sticks, X, and Hammer showing off his chest. You know, tens of thousands of views per video. These guys are not small. You could go to Tim Black. You could go to, you know, Jimmy Dore. You could go to, you know, Lee Camp. Right? There's a lot of them, right? The same progressive, Debbie Lucigna. Go talk to these people, you politician. You want to get your message out? Right? You you want you want to you want to get the right message out? Talk to these people. Why are you going on MSNBC and and having an arm wrestle with them in a politically correct way? You know, not to offend them so they let you come come back on their fucking stupid show. Why do you do that? What, that has to change, right? See, this is the problem, is that this... The one thing Trump is accurate in saying is... And proved it to be a fallacy is you have to be politically correct and you have to play patty cake with the establishments that are corrupt establishments, right? Right? So, you, you know... And also empowering individuals, Right? We live in a society where people, you know, their legal problems have to be solved by a lawyer. Their their medical problems, you can't even take your own temperature or take a take a you know take on an exercise regimen without people thinking that they have to somehow go see a doctor. Right? Every everything is has been filtered in a way 
I'm in the middle of the street right here. Everything is filtered in a way where people have given up their 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 right to, you know, speak out, right? I don't know where it all leads, but I can tell you that the the mainstream media is just is just toxic right now. Is it's just I've never seen anything like it. Maybe because I had time to investigate the facts, right? Maybe I'm, I'm, I was, I was fortunate. But to have people start to smart people, I mean, we knew this two years ago when the Clintons started this whole Russia hack the election thing that that the that the campaign would be epic, that that the gaslighting, because if you keep saying it over and over again, people won't believe the whole thing, but they'll believe enough of it. So that one day when, you know, some fake investigator Mueller pulls 13 Russian guys and says, oh, look, they bought a Facebook ad. You start to think like, oh, see, Russian collusion, well, Russia, Russia colluded with Trump and, the, and Mueller and, 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 that, and that, that Manafort and, and, and all, yeah, look, Russian collusion, they colluded, right? right? The word, first of all, the word collusion was, was used by the progressive community to define what the Clintons were doing with the media that they were colluding with the media through you know De Donna Brazil and, and Debbie Wasserman Schultz were communicating with CNN and MSNBC and they were actually Donna, Donna Brazil for example actually worked for CNN right as a commentator or as a political whatever political, political hat right that's collusion. That is, it's illegal in many senses. You can make an argument, but with the Democratic Party, they've already said that it's it's not a it's not a democracy. It's not democratic in the sense that that they they respect the election. They will rig the election any way they can, right, to pick the candidate. Yeah, we're still having you still go into the booth and you push a number, but it doesn't mean anything because it doesn't count. Right? That's the point. That's the problem. That's where we live right now. Right? And the media is running, instead of that insane, disturbing fact, the media is right now talking about Russia. That some jerk-off Russian guy bought one Facebook ad or, or even a million dollars or whoever, who cares? Nobody listens to that shit anyway. And that's what influenced the election. Right? That's what influenced the election. It's so ridiculous.